Welcome to Authentic Influence with host Anthony Chansamuth, the show where we get real and share the stories and struggles, strategies and tactics of successful influencers and entrepreneurs so that you too can take action to create the life and business that you choose. And now over to Anthony. So we're going to do something a little different today, and I've got a question that has been submitted by one of our community members. Uh, this is Lena Mberku. I hope I'm saying that right, Lena. Uh, and she submitted a question to me. So over to you, Lena. Hi, my name is Lena. I'm a coach and facilitator. I have created a 10-week transformational journey called Lead the Queen. I'm pricing that journey at 1555 I have a Facebook community of about 160 members I speak to almost every day. I'm wondering whether to have other events, paid events, before I try to sell the 1,555 journey. Thank you. Thank you so much for your question, Lena. All right, so just let's quickly recap the question. So basically, uh, Lena has this Facebook community, uh, around 160 members, and uh, it's a free group. And what she what she's wanting to do is to offer a fifteen hundred dollar uh, or thereabouts course, a program. And I'm um, just looking at the the actual program itself on the website here. It's called Lead Like a Queen. Uh, the website is leadinglikeaqueen.com. If you want to check it out, and essentially uh, the program is all about offering a transformation right it's helping people to or particularly women to stand in their power to, to own their own uh, inner strength uh, and help them to come become better leaders in their lives all right so uh, this is a really I know Lena's work and I know that she has uh, tre tremendous experience and expertise in this space and she's been out there you know doing consulting for corporations and whatnot and uh, and also in in the communities that she's active in now the in terms of the question um, you know should you go from zero so free straight to a uh, potentially a high ticket offer like a fifteen hundred dollar program uh, now high ticket can mean um, different things to different people right so there are a, a few assumptions and questions um, that I'd like to run by by you when you're making this kind of consideration, right? So if you are offering some kind of course or program like this, uh, then assumption number one is that you are providing some kind of visible transformation by the end of you know that time period. So it's ten weeks or you know three months, whatever it is. Um, People who are potentially buying want to know what do I get? You know, what's different? What's changed by the end of that time period? Okay, by the end of the course, by the end of the program. Um, secondly, that second assumption is that the pain that the prospective buyer is having and experiencing is high and urgent enough that they would want to invest that kind of money uh, into getting it resolved sooner rather than later. Um, Thirdly, uh, third assumption here is that the people in your free group have the financial capacity uh, and inter internal motivation to invest in a program like that. Uh, maybe they've purchased programs like that before already um, or different programs that didn't work for them or help them get to a certain stage and this program helps them move to the next level, right? Uh, and that assumption number four here is that there is a strong trust that's been developed between your members and you know and you through uh, the group and also through past interactions they may have had with you in person through workshops that you've run through some content you put out there. Uh, this is why I'm really big on content marketing um, and and doing video and audio and um, also articles and things like that because when you uh, provide multiple ways for people to connect with you and learn, identify who you are and learn more about your values and how you show up in the world and how you help people, uh, then that helps them build an understanding and a relationship with you, right? So uh, therefore assumptions uh, that that you need to look at um, and make sure that you're kind of addressing those. And then a few questions I have here is, you know, have you already run some kind of beta group for this particular course or this, this particular program? Have you had a sort of mini version of this or a pilot version of this where you've offered the course uh, at a uh, maybe an introdu introductory 
rate. Um, and that's been able a good way for you to get some people uh, into the program to experience it, um, to also then provide feedback to you on how to improve it and make it better, and also uh, give you um, video testimonials, answer some questions, uh, and become case studies for the program itself right, and the transformation that it offers. Right, and so. You know, when you have some beta group like that, if you've already done that, awesome. If you haven't, I'd, rec I'd recommend you consider uh, offering the first um, the first program as uh, that pilot program, right? Uh, and so that's going to really help you develop the confidence in selling the program as well. Um, and then because you have these case studies of proven and, and real results and transformations, then it's much more easier for people to say, wow, like you've been able to help, you know, these three people or five people go through that and they've, their lives have changed in these way, specific ways uh, and I'm wanting that transformation too. So this program makes sense and I want to know more. Okay, so that's um, a, a, a good thing to consider. Uh, question number two I have here is, are you creating enough desire for your program inside your group already? Have you been, have you mentioned to the group uh, whether you're doing it through Facebook Lives or you're um, you know, putting updates in the group letting people know, hey, I'm developing this program. It's launching, you know, in June, uh, you know, in, in X, you know, in a couple of months time. This is, you know, and I'd love, you know, to invite, you know, 10 people or whatever it is, um, have some kind of number um, around how many people you want in the in that group and make it known. Yeah. So there is some some real um you're putting a hard limit on on that and you're not saying it's just open to anyone who wants to join i think you have to be um clear on how many people you can uh really support to go through the program at, at that you know uh at that one time uh and then um to get the best possible outcome for them um, and also for yourself yeah so uh, is the desire being created in the group already for you know for the program uh question number three i have is are you often and, and, and revealing the gap between where your members are now in their life situation and where they want to be. Uh, and that's the gap really, you know, between the starting point of when people come into your program and then the end point when they come out, right? So if you can, um, you know, you could ask questions in your group to say things like, you know, do you want to be a better leader? Do you want to be more in, um, uh, stronger with how you deal with relationships? Do you want to, uh, you know, do you need better communication skills or to be in flow or whatever it is that that it is, right? And and you can do polls, you can ask questions in your community uh, and let people respond. And the people who respond are going to be the people that are signaling to you that they're wanting help, yeah? And so you can then reach out to those individuals and um, have conversations, right, uh, to learn more about them and, and whatnot. Now, I'm going to share with you... Um, uh, an answer from uh, or a related answer and some a strategy that's worked really well for one of my uh, amazing entrepreneur friends. Her name is Natasha Denman, uh, and she's going to share. You know, she's been in the the coaching business or the coaching world for for the last eight years uh, and has built a super successful multi seven figure business. And she'll tell you all about that in a moment. Uh, but let's share um, what she's been able to do to sell high ticket programs. So over to Natasha. Hi, Natasha Denman here, the ultimate 48 hour author. I'm the founder and have been running this business now for 11 years. Our website is a writerbook.com.au. So one of the marketing and sales strategies that has worked best within our business has been our half day workshop, or we call it a seminar nowadays. Um, I started running this about eight years ago to introduce um, the concept of how to write a book for the first time in just 48 hours. Um, and of course, I needed to share with people um, value before I would be able to sell my high ticket offer that at the time was $20,000 for the complete program. And so we started running uh, these half day workshops um, and uh, we were touring around Australia uh, we expanded the business in the US and um, and in Dubai, uh, the Middle East. Um, and when COVID hit, we actually pivoted that uh, offline event online. And even though I was um, super scared about what that would mean, if people would um, be able to commit to the high-end program, 
um, you know, and work with us to publish their first books, um, it actually continued working. So the key in the half day workshop strategy is to deliver immense value, to introduce people to who you are, um, to share some of your hottest tips and strategies when it comes to running your business and um, and solve some problems along the way. I believe in abundance and sharing as much as possible. I often get told, you know, I can't believe you've uh, shared so much. And, um, you know, uh, just a participant the other week said, oh my goodness, what would have taken me months to dissect or uh, digest for myself around how to write a book and publish it. You've done it in just three and a half hours. Um, And then I find that, um, you know, inviting people to have a one-to-one chat, especially now online, at the end of the call um, or the the workshop, if you like, uh, is the most powerful way to then build rapport and um, and, um, make a recommendation as to where they fit into what we've got to offer. Because uh, we offer three different levels of how people can get involved and start working with us. Of course, there's the high-end level, which online now is $15,000. And then there's the middle level where they would just buy a publishing package um, at about five and a half. And we offer a special seminar price, which we keep valid for seven days and a um, mega bonus that for those that commit within the first 48 hours, there's a couple of bonuses. So that's kind of creates the urgency and um, and the ability to, to get closure after after an event and get everyone either they're, they're gonna end up taking the next steps or um, or they won't. So the results <laughs> look has have been that the business is a multiple seven figure business. Uh, we're fully online now um, as of the last twelve months. I didn't believe it was possible. I had a limiting belief that what I did could not work online and um, uh, and the fact that I'm now location independent rather than getting on and off planes. Um, and we regularly now, the events are scheduled once a fortnight and we regularly do them for the USA Canadian market as well as the Australian ones. So we'll do one, one a fortnight for Australia um, and one a fortnight for USA Canada and um, and that's where we have actually been able to expand and help a lot more people. So um, it is, um, you know, it's not for the lighthearted. The half-day workshop is not a free workshop. It is a paid workshop with a VIP upgrade. So here in Australia, we charge $29 with a $49, which is the total for the VIP upgrade. And actually in the US, we discovered um, free with a VIP upgrade was getting us a lot more leads um, uh, and people coming to the event. So there's a kind of like a different strategy for a, um, a different market that you've got to, um, examine. So, um, keep, um, trying, um, out your content and see what really clicks because I've tweaked and adjusted this half day workshop, um, many times over the years to get it to where it is today. And delivering it live is really key because you can connect with your audience and really, um, you know, get to know them and they get to know you. But there is an opportunity now we're looking into even turning it as an evergreen option as well. I hope that was helpful and you'll try this out in your business. Natasha Denman, the ultimate 48 hour author. All right. So how awesome is Natasha, right? So um, to recap a couple of things, firstly, uh, if you are interested in learning more about what she does, head over to writeabook.com.au. That's Natasha's website and you can connect with her there. She's all over the socials uh, and she does have one of the most engaged Facebook groups uh, that, I, that I've seen um, and that's called Ultimate Business Support. So you can join her there. Um, now, I just wanted to sort of summarize a couple of things that points that she shared in her um her, her sharing just now uh, the first one is that you know she doesn't go from the group which is a free group to immediately jumping people into her you know fifteen thousand twenty thousand dollar program right so now you know thinking back on, on lena's program which is is around the fifteen hundred dollar mark there's a significant difference of course right so um like i said it, it is worth testing a uh, direct offer into the group uh what i would suggest you do is offer people an opportunity to have an experience of your work uh, and then allow them to decide whether or not it's it's right for them to move on to the next stage which is a higher priced 
program, right? So there's a model that is very common in the, uh, I guess, the coaching world, which is first you start off with step one would be a free offer. So that could be the group or the community. That could be, um, you know, a, a, what's called a lead magnet, a guide of some sort or a free video course or some training that you offer people to come in. Uh, they can then sort of start building a relationship with you and you with them. Um, they get to know, you know, this is all about really building that know, like, and trust factor. Uh, and, and people then can see whether or not they resonate with you. Okay. So that's step one, uh, which is a free tier. And then the second step from there is, if you think of this as like a, a ladder, step two would be to have what's called a front end offer. Right. Um, and usually this is at a lower price point. And in Natasha's case, so that's a half day workshop, um, it's three and a half hours. You're paying, uh, I think it's like $97 now, I think to go and attend that, um, and that's a, it's it's like it's often sometimes referred to as a micro commitment. So um, you're really separating now the people who want freebies from the people who are willing to invest uh, some money to learn more and, and get deeper with you. Uh, and within that, you know, three and a half hours, uh, Natasha is really focused on over delivering, right? So she's, she's really giving real. Um, tremendous value answering questions uh for people and really educating them about you know the challenges people have with publishing books and getting them or writing books and publishing them and getting them out there uh and then uh really showing the roadmap you know for them of the journey that they need to go through in order to get the result which is to have a published to, to become a published author right and of course you know by the time you spent three and a half hours with someone um you've got to know you know whether you like them or not by that point in time and then you know the, at the end of the day or you know i I'd, I'd, uh, imagine she'd offer at multiple points throughout that 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 workshop she would offer an opportunity or an invitation for people who want to learn more about the, the faster implementation program or the, the coaching program that she offers um which is you know and and as she mentioned she invites people then onto a, a, a phone call or a zoom call uh to chat about their situation and then she will then decide on that call the best direction or the best product to offer them right and i think that's a really smart move and that's something similar to what i do uh so i have this uh, monthly uh, content round, content marketing roundtable that I offer. People come on for an hour, uh, and I'm essentially I'm just coaching people uh, or consulting them on this this for an hour, and then I then invite them um, to then you know if they want to learn more about how I may be able to help their, their business uh, to come on, jump onto a 30 minute call with me uh, to get to know more about their business and then uh, what kind of challenges they want solved. And at that at that point, I can then determine what is the most appropriate uh, product or, or service I can offer them um, based on what where they're at and what budget they have, et cetera, et cetera, right? So that's something that you could do as well, Lena. Um, and I think if you had something, you know, that, that in between, uh, which is a paid, you know, it could be a, a one-hour workshop, right, or two-hour workshop where you're really um, giving people a taste of what the, the, the full program is going to look like. Um, and the, in during that time, you would then, you know, again, come back to what I said earlier is uh, highlight what the key challenges are, um, what is the, the promise of the program or the transformation they offer. And then the starting point with, you know, if you are here right now and you're experiencing this pain and this pain and this challenge and this struggle, right, here are the steps that you need to take or here's the roadmap for you to then, uh, you know, become the queen or, or, or you know, or, or whatever it is that you're, you're you're um, helping people to become um, and then you know if you want to learn more I invite you to to come join my 10-week uh, program you know uh, or whatever that looks like okay so there, that's a couple of ideas uh, and you know this is a very successful model and I think you know you could also um, try different uh, different intermediate to into I can't even say the word intermediate offers um, so it could be you know a, a 30 minute phone call or a Zoom call to discuss their situation. And then, you know, it's almost like you're, you're diagnosing where they're at um, and you're not selling to them in that moment. You're basically saying, we can come on, have a chat, see where you're at. And you might offer one or two tips for them to, um, to, to progress, right? And then you, you mentioned, yes, by the way, I do also have this program. And if you want to have a chat about that, um, happy to, to tell you more about it, right? Or send you some more information about that. Um, 
Another thing that you've probably seen people do is they offer some kind of, uh, well, like Natasha's been doing, she has a half-day event, uh, which is now a webinar. So you could offer that as well. You could do that as a Facebook Live in the group, uh, or you could do it as you know a Zoom call or something like that. I usually hold my roundtables on Zoom uh, just because I, I want the back and forth and I want to hear the people talking to me. Uh, usually when you're doing Facebook Lives, it's, it's more one way and people put stuff in the chat. Um, that can work too. You, you test out what works best for you. Okay, so um, that's really uh, a whole bunch of, of different ideas for you. Um, but I would say, yes, if you uh, just review, you know, what we shared here and just determine, uh, you know, is there enough trust built up in that free community and the members there for them to jump from a free offering to, uh, you know, $1,500 offering, uh, are the right people in there who would think, oh, $1,500 is a no-brainer because they're already spending that kind of money at conferences and events that they're going to, all right? If you have those type of people in your group, then it's not a big deal, right? To say, hey, well, I've got this this program and here's the transformation that I'm offering. Um, but I'd really focus in on, you know, if you can get people onto a call of some sort, um, you know, and then really understand the situation and then say, okay, well, look, based on what you're telling me, it makes sense for you to to do this program or, you know, based on what you're telling me, it makes sense for you to do this other thing that I can offer here for you. It could be a one-on-one coaching. It could be something else, right? So um, that's really uh, a good way to go about it. Okay, so that's the, we're going to wrap, wrap it up here. I hope you got some value uh, from uh, listening to this. Uh, and if you have any questions about this or anything else that's going on in your business, I want to invite you to submit your question to me, all you have to do is go to uh, anchor.fm forward slash authentic influence forward slash message, uh, and you can submit your question to me, uh, and I will answer you know in an upcoming episode. Thanks for listening. Now, just quickly, if you want to check out the show notes for this episode, just head over to simplecreativemarketing.com forward slash podcast, uh, and you can grab all the links and things and resources on there. And also, if you are a conscious entrepreneur, got a professional services business, working B2B, uh, and you've got an interest in building influence and income through showing up, serving others, and being real, then I invite you to join my Authentic Influence Warriors Facebook group. Uh, If you want to do that, just head over to simplecreativemarketing.com forward slash community. Okay, thanks for joining in, and I'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for listening to the Authentic Influence Podcast at AuthenticInfluence.co. 